Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, so I was thinking today I might want to start uh, working on the base a little bit here. Wanna, I've been thinking about going like three levels. I might keep this the same, or I get rid of this, because we don't need that. But I'm going to leave the stairs there going down to a floor down below. And then I'm going to have a set of stairs going up to a floor above. I'm going to get a bit of a base set up here. I was actually out here. I was putting in a Wi-Fi over here, and stupid beetles were... The beetle was attacking me. So I go take care of that nest right now. Get it out of the way. Is there one right there? There is. I see you. But you don't see me. Haha. <laughs> now you're dead. Alright. Let's not fall in the hole. And this thing really isn't doing much else except for just uh, iron and car... Aluminum and cobalt now. In fact, it's even running out of that now, too. Actually, one thing I was worried about was what we were going to do with the dirt, but apparently the dirt doesn't actually go anywhere. Guys, I haven't seen any dirt in any of these containers. Just a lot of aluminum. Aluminum and silver. And I have no idea what the silver is for, but in a couple of days we have another update coming out, and maybe we got some new goodies to play with. But... Yeah, so I got that Wi-Fi set up, so let's go ahead and uh, actually take the wall down first. The walls and doors. And I'm going to get rid of that ceiling too, because I just don't like that ceiling. I might uh, use the, probably going to use the base foundations as the floor. There's another floor I can use, this one here. I haven't actually seen that yet, let's have a look at it. Oh, put it over here. a weird one. Pretty small though. And it's pretty expensive. At least these foundations are pretty cheap. Alright, so we got that down. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up moving some of the machines too. The containers are going to have to stay there because I'm, I'm not moving all that stuff by hand. Forget that. And yeah, and then probably extend up this way a little bit. Let's actually take this off. Oh, I want one of these. These are so cool. All right, so now we gotta. We're actually gonna go up here and get rid of this farm. We're gonna get rid of these. I'm actually gonna set up the big one or greenhouse because I'm gonna have so much room to spare. So let's get some stairs going up while we're here. Auto saving already. I hope they fix that next update. Yes, it's like uh, I could just be cutting, cu uh, pausing, recording, and starting up again once it's back up and running. But unfortunately, I'm using Loilo, and Loilo it sometimes doesn't recognize the hotkeys, which is a little annoying. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want stairs. Uh, well, we don't need conveyors right now. Get out of there. And let's see. I want to see if I can actually get these to place right on the edge. No, I might actually have to put another foundation there. Oh, hang on. I actually know what I can do. I could just rotate it. And then it should snap the bottom to foundation as soon as the game lets me play again move or do anything. Yeah. yeah, it's uh can be a little much sometimes, but Yeah, is this actually gonna snap? Please tell me it will. Hmm, it'll snap there. Oh, that'll be okay. That'll be fine. Because the, the foundation down here is actually going to be... Get that out of the way. It's going to be right down here. So that is good. So do that. Alright, and then we start laying our foundations down. So that is a number one. 
and I was actually trying to do this a little earlier. It is actually possible, and now I didn't have to dig the hole to do this. But the snapping mechanics are really good. Basically, I'm already there. We can go up a little bit and try to, I guess it was further back. There we go. And I think, yeah, I think that's it. Let me just back up a little bit. And come on. Yeah. And there we go. So, that is that. And then I'm going to do the same up top. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for Oh, yeah, I should. Because this one is going to actually attach to this end here. Like uh, so. Let's see if that gives me enough room to walk around. Enough room to walk, but not enough for, for the jetpack. So let me get uh, some layout here, and I'll bring you back when I, it's all said and done. Okay, I got the floors all set up. I had some issues using the base foundation. There. I was trying to stamp it to here, but what happened was I had it to the bottom of the foundation, but it was one block up, so I couldn't walk up. So I just changed it to the ceiling tile. I also got rid of the roof here, so we'll work on that. But another reason why I had to go to this is because of when I dropped the base foundation down, it was sticking down, and the walls wouldn't fit in. So we're going to go ahead and put the walls in. i got to actually see how many glass I have. But I get a bunch of that being made. Uh, let's see here. Glass components. Go ahead and make a whole bunch of those. I have no idea how many I have, but go ahead, because I'm going to have windows everywhere. <laughs> of course. So let's go ahead and start placing down some windows. See, now it actually fits. I gotta put the corners in first. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get uh where is the corner? There it is. Oh, yes, that's what I want. So let's go ahead and put the corners in. One there. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Don't move until it actually places takes like a fraction of a second for actually to place it so if you move after you click then it won't actually place it or it'll place it where the mouse just happens to be at the time uh, there is going to be no doors on this level I don't think I might have like my main door on this side here keep that as a storage so then we do that and then we go ahead and place the walls around or the windows uh, I gotta figure out how I'm trans transition this too. I might put a ramp section here and see what they have for walls. Don't know, but we shall see. So yeah, let me uh, get this all done and hopefully I don't have any recording issues and I'll bring you back when it's all done. Okay, here we are. So that's what I got so far. Now I want to try to keep this area the same as it is. And I want to find a, see if I can find a way to tie it in up here. And apparently this gap is one tile too short to get one of these in, and one tile is too short to get two of these in. So I might have to, because there's no walls I can actually use. They all have this, this sort of look to it. I might have to go with um, armored blocks. These little guys. But that's going to get expensive. But it might work. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet. I might ex just extend this out a little bit. Let's actually do that. We'll use the ceiling floor for this one. Or better yet, we'll just put a get out of there and put a foundation in where it's not snowing. Okay, so let's go foundation now. Can I actually snap you to the end here? I can. Oh, yeah, and is that actually covering? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now, I don't know how I'm going to do this, because if you see this, it actually stops one tile too short. So I can either use the ceiling tiles, have them all line up. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. I thought about putting a corner there, but because that actually doesn't line up here. 
I was actually thinking about pushing that wall back so it lines up with this one. Put a corner on and then just use the armored block to fill in the space. Again, it'll be expensive, but I think I have more than enough of these. Get off the stairs, please. More than enough uh, frames and whatnot, but I'll go ahead and make a bunch more stuff. And let me get a bunch of stuff crafting. Good thing I got two printers so I can get one doing frames, one doing plates. So we'll do that. And then 50 of the plates. And I'm just going to type the number in because it's quicker. Okay, so I'll bring you back when I've got this all fin figured out. And once again, Loilo forgets to recognize the hotkeys. I went ahead and finished this all up. Uh, what it is, I just used the uh, armor blocks. I used a long armor slope up here. I had to make two runs over to the iron mine there. I ended up grabbing like 12 stacks of iron and carbon just to build this. And then I went ahead and uh, got the big greenhouse here set up. We're looking at it, it's actually half the time is the small one, so that's good. Uh, we'll definitely have to make some, uh, make a bunch of supplies if you ever want to go on a trip. And I'm thinking I want to. I want to head up north. That guy took me five kilometers just to get up to this biome change. So it might be a while before we go get up there. But anyways, yes, so we went inside here. I took a few things out of here. I'm leaving the printers here because they're set up to the conveyors. And this is basically going to be like the manufacturing area. We've got the storage here. Uh, got everything all powered up. Is this door not connected? I guess it's not. Hang on a second here. Oh, don't want to take that apart. Oh, now it's working. Okay. There we go. Much better. And went ahead and moved, moved the mine. We actually got the uh, drill pumping right into the container so we don't have to worry about it. It is actually getting us uranium. There was 17 pieces in there, so that's pretty good. Uh, the other one... I might have to disable this one because it's almost, almost empty. Oh, jeez, it's full. 15 minutes. Why is it giving fuel? I have no idea. But, yeah, I think we're actually going to just shut this down for now. That's not what we want. Turn it off. And that actually still has fuel. But it's not going to be using it because it's not actually generating any power. But there we go, my floating base. <laughs> it's going to drop there. Uh, good thing it's built by lasers. Impenetrable. But then we go back inside here. I haven't done anything with the downstairs yet. I haven't even put lights in yet, but I got these lights up here. And then we go upstairs. Oh, jeez, I forgot to connect the food and drink machine. Hang on. Oh, jeez, get that out of my face. Get the extension cord. I forgot to connect this. That is connected. That is connected. And that is connected. All right. Now we're working. That's what I didn't do in the previous recording attempt. Uh, there we go. What is ready in here? Oh, nothing. Uh, this is our food and drink machine. This is our... What is this? Trauma kit. Oh, interesting. That's new. Bandages, thermal R injection, chemical injection to balance body temperature. Eh, cool. Adrenaline and stem. Lethal in high doses. <laughs> Sounds fun. Good Friday night to me. But yeah, anyways, now we're going to end the episode here. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Later.